This bat's been dropped off. It's from a local cricket shop called Sporty Sports that sell all different types of equipment. But this is their cricket bat. Let's have a look. So what we have here is a Sporty Platinum. Now apparently Sporty is just a small shop that operates here in Adelaide. It's got one shop and this is their signature bat. Uh, one of them. This is their grade 2 effort, I believe. Sort of a nice profile. 41 mil edge, 67 mil spine, uh, 26 mil toe at the centre and thin juice shoulders at the top. Comes with a counterbalance handle and three cork inserts that you can see there. It's just a general chevron grip. Round handle, medium thickness. Uh, the width of the blade is 105 millimeters. Uh, so this is apparently grade five, which would be uh, no blemishes, a minimum of five grains. So one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth on the end. So yep, it fits within what is a grade two. Evenness, a little bit wider towards the right hander's outside edge. Pretty much a flat face, maybe one to two mil camber on that. There's about two to three mil of concaving taken out the back. In my hands, I, it, it's a very light pickup bat, and that's purely because they've done the counterbalancing on it. I honestly think this feels maybe 2829, but to my surprise, it actually 212. Picks up nice for its weight, but it has been rebalanced using that narrowing of the blade. So two to two and a half mil taken off. The alternative would be to make it more concaved or to reduce the size of the edges. Now this is a pre-spec bat, so it doesn't fit through the gauge. So all you need to do to fix that is just force it and that will basically get it in there. Uh, the decals themselves are stickers. Uh, no texturing, a little bit of embossing. Now price. Uh, they don't have a website. I've only got a Facebook page and I was given a rough price. I was told $350 with the bag. So it's probably for a grade 2 for a no name. Uh, probably what I would expect to be at the higher end. So let's see how it's pressed. Fairly hard down the bottom. Starting to ping immediately. to it, it's like a higher pitch, but um, yeah, for 350 once prepared, I think it will be a quite a nice bat. One thing I will point out is the toe guard. So this is obviously being added later and it ain't going to last. Thing and toe guards just don't last anyway, quite frankly, but when you see gaps in them like this, it just means they're going to fall off. Did comment before about how narrow it was, so it was 104, 105, so you can see there 106 with the scuff tape on. You can see, I can see there, 106. You just have to take my word for it. So what I found with the press on this, it was quite soft, uh, it needed a fair knock in. I've gone all the way up the shoulders and all the way down to the toe and it's pinging quite nicely now, so have a listen. So, nice hard at the toe, gets into that nice sweet spot in the mid-low, going good mid, and much harder now after the knocking, and once this bat has been played in, it should go really well. I'm not sure about pricing. I think it was said to be 350. Oh, there's a lot of competition in that market, 350 to 400 dollars. So you know, it's up to the buyer. If it feels good in your hand, you're going to make runs with it, and that's basically all that matters. I've shown people the stickers. Uh, some didn't really like it. So you know, it's just one of those things. It's up to the the user, but. I have no doubt in the right hands this is going to score runs no matter how many grains it's got and you'll see that when I turn the camera around and bounce a ball on it. Turn it over though, I'll do something. And it's pinging really nice actually. So these softer press bats generally will start to perform a lot quicker. And that's what you're seeing here with this bat. It actually feels quite nice with this ball. 
uh, how it will feel in the nets is probably soft maybe, maybe a little bit spongy at first until it plays in properly and then it will really start to perform. So we'll bounce the jukes on it. So it's nicely pressed, I, like I can't really fold it, given it really So we've got a few deeper, slightly deeper seam marks in this one, so I probably have to go over this one a little bit. But yeah, she's uh, going to be a really nice bet. So Sporty Platinum, Henley Beach Road, Adelaide, uh, that's where you're from.